Hey, hey, so this is video number nine of the TAGR, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, uh, Persistence. This is a chapter on persistence, and I'm just trying to force myself to say something uh, that comes to mind or whatever idea or thought comes to my mind when I read through the chapter. Uh, on video number eight, we were talking about this hidden guy that puts us through the test whenever we're trying to pursue something that we really want. It seems like failure or some version of challenge or adversity shows up at the very you know, throughout and also like right before we actually succeed it shows up and it puts us through a test so in video number eight we was the idea of uh, for those that don't keep pushing through they just simply just don't get the success that they hoping for but this one is the second stage or the second side of it and it, it reads those who can take it those who can take the test whatever that test might be, are bountifully rewarded for their persistence. They receive as their compensation whatever goal they are pursuing. But that's not all. They receive something infinitely more important than material compensation. And it says, this is the sentence I kind of like, it says, the knowledge that every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent advantage. The knowledge that every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent advantage. I don't, I think we all know this. I think knowing it is one thing and understanding it is another one. But I think most of us know that if we're always winning, uh, there's not much to learn. And I say, I, I, some, some experts will actually say, and I tend to think about it this way, if I always expose myself to a situation and I try it and it becomes easy, there's not much that I learn from it. If there is no challenge, there is no growth. And he's in this day, in this situation, I'm thinking more whenever there's something I really, really want, there's someone that shows up. It, it's gonna be a critic. Um, whenever I said I wanted to be a coach, there were many people around me that said, Who do you think you are? Uh, you, don't, you have no idea what you're talking about. Or if I said I want to be a speaker or a trainer, it would say, well, you're going to have to work with this and with this and this and this. So that's not going to work because of X, Y, and Z. Um, <clears throat> there'll be things like that. Or it could be something else. It could be just something as easy as you decide to go on a diet. And the very same day that you decide to go on a diet or an exercise program, uh, somebody shows up like, with the free donuts in the break room, right? And <clears throat> So that is the test. There's a simple test for that. I just think of, let's say you actually go and eat the donut <laughs> after you decide to go on this exercise and routine and diet. Maybe you say you fail. So you say, well, why am I even going to try? Because it seems like every time I start, something shows up and I can't finish it. Maybe. But I think this sentence is a reminder that maybe there's something in there maybe there's something in that failure that can help you figure out how can I, you could actually succeed so we always say there's more to learn when you fail or may make, make a mistake than when you're always winning as a matter of fact some people would say if you're always winning it means you haven't tried something hard enough for you relative relative to you it's not you versus me, it's just really always relative to you, or in this case, always relative to me. So, maybe what you need to do is just think about all these things that you absolutely wanted. Maybe you, maybe something happened that you kind of had to give up, you, you gave up, or you failed. Maybe you just want to make a list of those failures and just start thinking about, okay, I failed. Let's just say, I failed. Um, but what is the lesson that you can learn from it? What is the thing that you need to learn from that? So you, whenever you try again, you actually try something totally different. And that this that is the seed. It's, it's the step up. You're stepping up every time you fail. You can always step up. But most people just fail and then just stay. Or they say, oh, I'm never trying that again. Well, how much do you really want it? So this is persistence. But then this is just the same thing. Every seed, every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent advantage. And all that means is this. 
you're going to have to nurture that seed. You're going to have to work it. You're going to have to figure it out. But everything that happens that goes wrong, it seems like it's always going to have this possibility of you learning something that's going to make you stronger, it's going to make you better, it's going to help you help someone else. Uh, many things can happen. I don't know. Is Maybe it's not going to be more money, but it's going to be something that's going to allow you to help more people as you can move forward and stay with it. So that's my thinking for today or my rambling, however you want to call it. Feel free to let me know other on Facebook, on the one-on-one -on -one coaching community, or in the comments below, or send an email to me at one-on-one-coaching at gmail.com. See ya.